Hi guys, it's Nick with another haul video. <clears throat> it's Saturday today. I went out to two car boot sales this morning. Uh, weather was fantastic. Wasn't masses of stalls really, but they were. There was just lots of stuff, and I have. I managed to fill the back of the car up. You may have seen on my Facebook page, my reseller Facebook page, the picture of the back of my car. Uh, I couldn't get a whole lot more in it. Um, so I thought I'd put together a haul. And I won't show you all of it again because there's way too much and a lot of it's the same sort of stuff I show all the time. So I will try and pick and choose a bit. I've got a lot of it right in front of me here. So I'll just start there and we'll see how we got on. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat. I got to the first one actually today super early and nobody was set up. They hadn't let the guys into the field. And I sat in my car and I just looked around. And you know, we can all kind of tell a dealer when we see one. And I sat there and I purposefully sort of counted and looked at all the regular faces I see and the ones that I know are dealers and the ones that I'm pretty sure. And there must have been 30 or 40 dealers waiting for this boot sale to start. And I still came away with a ton of stuff. So that says something, you know, there's, there's plenty of stuff out there. There was guys there that I see all the time who go for games. There's the guy that goes to every car and says, have you got any military? Have you got any cigarette cards? That's what he says and then he moves on. So yeah, they're all there in force and I still found a load of profitable stuff. So anyway, the first pickup I found there was this. Uh, it was just put out on the stall as I rocked up, so it was just right place, right time. And it's nothing exciting really, bog standard PS1. This is the reissued small version of the PlayStation. I haven't actually done the old eject and see if there's a disc in, but there isn't. Um, it has, it's in pretty good nick. Obviously I haven't tested this yet, it's, you know, it's only this morning I picked it up. I've only just unloaded the car actually. Lovely condition white dual shock and another one slightly more used by the look of it um, yeah and AV cable and mains plug cable and it came with a few games uh, I don't think there's anything particularly good here ATV mania great condition cases though so they were oh haha <laughs> say that that one's got broken hinge uh, Colin McRae, International Track and Field, and Equestriad 2001. <clears throat> oh, and bonus, it's got a memory card. So I paid a fiver on the box. The memory card will go most of the way to cover that cost. So that was all good. Right, let's see what else I can find. I grabbed this. This was at the second boot sale I went to. It's a stylophone. Um, it's not a vintage one. They, they're still making these. You can still buy them new. I didn't even look it up because he only asked, um, no, was it a pound? I seem to think it was, it was either a pound or two pounds. I can't remember. I bought a fair bit of stuff off this guy. Um, I'm just going to scan it into Amazon and see how much they sell them for on there. Okay, that didn't work. Um, there we go. Do, do, do. Right, there's, there's a seller selling them for £10 new on Amazon. So they are super cheap by the look of that. Oh no, tell a lie. With postage on top. So the cheapest prime new is 20 Um and apparently the guy said, but we all hear this, he said it was new and unused. I just took his word for it because it was so cheap. Um, well, actually it could be. The uh, little cable is still got its cable tie on it. Yeah, might be brand new. Anyway, I paid either a pound or two for that. So that was that. I picked this bad boy up, it's huge, in its original polystyrene case, and you might be able to read on there, it's a Goblin Teasmaid. 
Now I've seen these before and never, I've never gone on them because they're either in grotty condition or they're missing bits or the teapot is in bad condition. This one on closer inspection, before I started the video actually, I had a quick look at this. It's got a little bit of crazing here, but it's not too bad. I looked this up at the boot sale while I was there. The first boot sale I go to, I get really good 4G signal and I just look things up while I'm at the store half the time. Um, and the real top end that I've seen these go for was 60 plus. People have been getting between 30, 40, 50 and all the way up to that top end. Um, so yeah, I haven't checked it out yet. I haven't seen if it works, but it's a very retro looking thing. These bits here, these all light up and you've got your timer and your clock. And then of course you set it to wake you up and it makes you a cup of tea. So when you wake up, you've got a cup of tea and it's, it's that kind of retro kitsch fashionable kind of thing. So yeah, and I, I asked how much it was. I actually went off and looked it up and then came back and then asked and was pleasantly surprised when he asked three pounds for it. So I only paid three for it anyway, which was pretty damn good. So that's that one. All right, hang on a sec, let me get rid of this. Okay, right, I grabbed these on, oh, excuse me, on a stool. What these are, these are PHQ postcards. Um, they're stamp postcards. Whenever a set of stamps is issued, they issue a set of postcards to go along with it. I used to collect these and I have a collection of thousands of these. There's not much value in it, in them, to be honest, unless you get the really early issue ones. Um, but she had these, I, I don't know how many is there. You can see how thick it is. There must be 20 or 30 in a stack and there's four stacks. So well over a hundred there. And she had these. I don't know if there's any value in these because I haven't looked them up yet. These are first day covers from, now who is that? Is that Princess Anne? I think that's Princess Anne. And there's three of them. I think, oh no, there's more. One, two, three. No, there's four of them. Oh, no, tell a light. Two of that one. So that's first day cover of the royal wedding. And then there's two here. That's the wedding as well. So just slightly different ones. So anyway, I, I gave the lady what she asked, which was three pounds a lot. And I thought I'd uh, take a chance on those. Um, I bought a load of board games. Most of it isn't very exciting and you've seen it all before. There's a few bits I've bought over which aren't exactly exciting but they're something a little bit different. Uh, I picked this up. This is Scrabble Trickster. A uh, bit of an unusual issue of Scrabble. I wouldn't have normally bothered um, but this is sealed as you can see. I paid a pound for it. I've looked on Amazon which is where I'm likely going to sell this and they're selling the cheapest new FBA is just under 30, I think it was, about 28. So yeah, for a pound, that was fantastic. I grabbed this also for a pound, create a night sky projection. It's kind of a globe thing that you build and then I guess you put a bulb in it or it has a bulb in there and it projects light through here onto your ceiling, I'm assuming. Um, this is brand new and sealed. And again, I scanned it into Amazon before starting the video. And there's only, there's two sellers with it new. One of them is an FBA seller and he's got it on at 15, but he only, <coughs> he only has um, one in stock. Um, and it's got a fairly good rank. It's not terrible, but I would imagine this would be a Christmas thing. So I'll, I'll send this up at Christmas, I would think, and ask 20, 25, something like that, see if I can get it. If I am struggling to get my words out today, it's because I've had about two hours sleep. I could not sleep last night. Uh, I think it's because my wife and my daughter are away at Girl Guide Camp. So I'm on my own and that always, you know, messes with my head a bit. So I couldn't get to sleep last night. I was still awake at around four and then the alarm went off at six for the boot sales. And then I've done a full day's work in the shop. So I'm a bit brain fried at the moment. 
I picked up this because um, it's Disney cars. I do really well on certain Disney board games and I just grabbed it. It was only 50 pence, but it doesn't look like it's a particularly good one. Uh, may Numbers may pick up at Christmas. That's Monopoly cars. Another one that I was kind of seduced by the Disney thing, because as I say, I, I've got great money on certain Disney board games. I grabbed this Junior Scrabble uh, for 50 pence, so very little investment, but it's not a particularly good one. Certainly not at this time of year anyway. It's probably gonna be one I will put on the shelf above me here with another 100 or so games uh, and have a look again at Christmas and send it up then. I would expect this was a bit better. I paid a pound for, I don't buy puzzles as a rule uh, unless they are sealed. As you can see, it's got its factory seal on it. Uh, this Where's Wally one, I just grabbed it because it was sealed for a pound. Uh, scanned it into Amazon and the cheapest FBA is 25 on that. Uh, and it's got a good rank as well. So people, people want their Where's Wally puzzles. That looks just crazy impossible to me. So that was nice. And this one is one to look out for. I have not had this version of Scrabble before. This is Super Scrabble. Um, sounds like something they would have issued on the Super Nintendo. Super Scrabble. Um, I'm not really sure what is different about it. It says giant sized board, twice, oh, twice as many tiles. So it's kind of a souped up version. Um, I took a chance on this at three pounds and I'm glad I did. It's not, I couldn't find it anywhere on Amazon, but on eBay, people have been getting secondhand uh, 25 plus for that. So it seems one that's worth going on. I guess it's one they tried and they discontinued because can't find it anywhere on Amazon. So that's cool. Glad I went for that. And then this, going back to that first boot sale where I sat in the car and, and counted the amount of dealers waiting to go tat hunting. At that very boot sale, this was sat leaning against the front of a stall and people were just ignoring it, walking past it and didn't even pay it another glance. As soon as I clocked it, I was there and grabbed it. What it is, is a Hot Wheels track set. It's a huge, great big thing. It's brand new and sealed, never been opened, and I got it for £4. And on Amazon at the moment, I think they're about, I oh, can't remember. Let's have a scan. Let's see what it says. I think it was high 20s or something. Uh, Hot Wheels Track Builder Volcano. Right, Amazon don't have any. There is an FBA seller at 29. But at Christmas, I'd imagine this will go up. Um, it's got a really good rank as well, three and a half thousand in toys. So easy money on that one. And it just goes to show, like I was basically saying, that there was so much competition at this boot sale for me, and I was just falling over stuff. So yeah, it was all good. Um, Epsom ink, it's just the one magenta, very little money in those, but they're quick and easy to sell. So I've grabbed that for 50 pence. Another 50 pence pickup was this. This is a tarot deck. Um, I scanned this into Amazon as well, and it's got a ridiculously high rank. They must sell thousands of these, but it's no great value in it. Um, but it'll be a quick, easy sale. And at 50p, I took a punt on that. Um, oh, a couple of bits here. While I'm gonna, there's a little bit of media that I'll show you. These um, I picked up yesterday in a charity shop. Um, so I thought I'd show them out of interest. Really nice Iron Maiden CD single, 50 pence. I haven't looked into any of these. I just, I've been buying and selling CDs since I first went self-employed. Uh, way back when. The first time I ever went self-employed was 98 when I set up my own little record shop. And I just, I can't help myself with this sort of thing. Uh, so that was nice to find. Sisters of Mercy, amazing band. This is an amazing track. It's Lucretia, My Reflection, and it's a funky little thing. It's a three inch, like limited edition. Well, I guess it's limited. 
and it's got its little five inch adapter. Again at 50p, don't know what value's in it, but I was not leaving that on the shelf. And this was nice, Fields of the Nephilim, quite a collected band, so this could have some value. Again, 50p, so another single. Um, and then different charity shop uh, at 199 each. I got a couple of series of these. This is Cutting It, which I'd never heard of. Andrea had heard of it. I'm guessing it's all about hairdressers. Yeah, hairdressers at war. Hey. Um, yeah, I scanned them while I was there in the shop and surprisingly they have pretty good value on Amazon. I guess it's a discontinued item now. So there's not many new ones knocking about. Um, so yeah, they were good. Let's have a look again because I can't keep all these numbers in my head. So there's one there. Let's go in. Nobody has it new. There's, uh, oh no, tell a lie. God, I'm so tired. Uh, cheapest, there's no FBA and the cheapest new on there is just under 30 quid. Uh, I don't know if the rank's any good. Let's have a look. I'm not sure if this makes good viewing or not. Uh, yeah, good rank. So that should be a pretty easy sale. The other one, again, 199. Oh, that hasn't scanned right. It's dropped a number off the beginning. Five. Come on, Nick, sort it out. Cheapest FBA on that is 25. So yeah, for four pounds, absolute bargain on those. Um, there was quite a bit of media that I picked up. Um, the only stuff I've got to hand right now are these. Uh, Marigold, Marigold Hotel, the second one, I believe. Is that the second one or the first one? Best exotic Marigold Hotel. First one, I think. Uh, 50p for a sealed copy of that. Cars 2 sealed, I paid a pound on. Uh, Best of Les Dawson, I got 50p. I think that had some pretty good value. Uh, Wally. Cinderella, the usual sort of stuff I like to pick up. Incredibles. Uh, there is a load more, but we won't go there. And then I had quite a strange pickup. Um, I saw a guy was selling these. Uh, these are ice packs, uh, two in a pack, um, made by Royal. And he was selling them off really cheap well i went around the boot sale two or three times and every time i came back he changed his sign i think they were like a pound for one then they were a pound for two and by the by the time i was thinking of going home i think it was like four or five for a pound and i thought he really wants to get rid of these i'll quickly look them up on ebay and i found a couple of people selling them not for big money but there was money in it um so i made him a cheeky offer on the lot and got everything for a fiver. Um, and there's quite a lot of it. I can barely lift it actually. There's three loose ones, or three loose packs of two, and then a whole thing here. So I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what's that, 27? Yeah, 27. So I've got 30 of them. I can't remember what I what I found when I found them on eBay, but people were selling them. So yeah, there's a market for it. Uh, five pounds for 27, I should make a fair bit out of that. Perfect time of the year as well. Everyone's thinking of going on their holidays, going camping, going away in their camper van, all that stuff, picnics. So yeah, ice packs. And then, I found a bag full of Chuggington stuff. I've shown Chuggington stuff before. I've not found any for quite a long time, but it's well worth the time. Chuggington is a kids TV program, a bit like Thomas the Tank Engine, all based around a load of trains that talk. Um, and there's lots of different sets that are available and they all fit together and you know you run your trains around them. And they're all interactive. They all have voices in and these interact with the trains. Um, yeah, there's three sets in it. There's this mine set, has boulders that come through it. It's got all the bits to go with it. 
There's this one which is a train wash, has all sound effects and everything. I've had this before, I think I got about 12 or 15 pounds just for that bit last time. And there's whatever this bit is. Oh, this is the repair shop. They have loads of sound effects and stuff. And then there's a ton of track. Oh, there you go. All makes noises. But importantly, there's a load of the trains. Uh, if you turn them on, they all talk and they're interactive. The trains I've sold individually for up to £10 each before. There's another example. So that's what they look like. read what it says on them right now but yeah chuggington stuff uh well worth picking up i got the lot for oh, what did i pay she wanted she wanted 10 and i paid eight um i'd imagine they're probably by the time i part yeah whatever I would imagine by the time I parted it all out, there'll be about £50 worth there. So that was cool. Um, right. I don't know how long I've been waffling, um, but I will probably wrap that up and do another part because there's a few more interesting bits and bobs I want to show you. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye for now.